Welcome back to Improvision Entertainment. My name is Hunterman, and this is Euro Truck Simulator 2. And what I'm doing right now is I'm going to be taking cars from Christensen off to um, Kiel, uh, which I think is Denmark. No, not Denmark. Wait, yeah, Denmark? It doesn't look like it's Denmark. Looks like it's just outside of Denmark. In any event, uh, we are going for an urgent, de fragile delivery of high-value cargo. And we're going to hope that that gives us a good payout compared to... We're trying to look for hazardous materials or otherwise, like, what is the best kind of, like, base payout. We got some nice cars. And we're going to be at least ending up in a destination we've never been before. So that's, that's good for future shenanigans. Because we still have to get the achievements for... Um, we still have to get the achievements for um, going to every place on the map, having 100% uh, map coverage uh, revealed, which it turns out does not include businesses, it's only roads, and is actually probably closer to like 95 plus. They've, got, they've given you some wiggle room in case you miss a road here or there, so that's, that's good on them I've learned as far as that achievement is concerned. And also that percentage is about to go down because the next expansion pack is going to come out. Uh, um, five days? Depending on if it's past midnight or not. I have an itch in my ear. That is a problem. Roundabout is clear. So I am clear. We're still going for... The shortest missions that are over 250 kilometers, so that we can get a bigger benefit out of doing the 90 experience point point um, uh, parking, because you want over 250 to. Where am I going? Oh, I didn't realize I, st I start with the ferry to Hertzschall. So I'm going back into the port I was leaving a few minutes ago. It's a good continuity thing where I managed to get a mission that was right in where the other drive is. But, um... Let's not ding this if we can help it. There we go. Once again, I believe the achievement is only counting actual land distance value. If it's not, we are absolutely boned. Nice beach. Cut that a little weird because I was trying not to ding that sign. Turning right. Alright. We already have uh, 450 kilometers left in this trip. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Don't mean to be speeding. I don't know if the viewership is right, but hi guys. I hope you're having a good chill time getting to, um... I mean, it's a very zen-like game. So, um... Feel free to chat me up if you are interested in talking. I don't really have a topic set up for today. Um, but we had been talking Assassin's Creed in a previous re recording. And Aliens and Predator movies and Terminator and stuff like that. But I'm open to many topics. If you'd be interested in... Oh, that is a cop.
if you'd be interested in having a conversation with me, I am very interested in doing so. Okay, hold on. I was... Luckily, that cop was far enough ahead that they didn't care that I was technically going a little fast behind them. It is... 21 in the afternoon. So... The sun is trying to go down. We are far, far enough up in Scandinavia, I don't know if that's actually going to happen, but we'll see. Yeah, it looks like the sun is setting. Let's, uh, let's zoom that mini-map out a little bit. My headlights should already be on, which is a thing I would get a fine for. And as a reminder, much as I absolutely despise, like, reloading to try and save myself in a situation in pretty much any video game, I am going for an achievement, and I do need, like, maximum efficiency, proficiency bonus of not getting fines and stuff like that. So if I do get, a, like, a speeding ticket or something like that, I am likely to rewind, because I'm pretty sure that affects my final experience point score. And uh, I apologize in advance for that. That is not, again, how I would normally play the game, nor how I will keep playing the game after I get the achievement, because I am hoping to get the achievement. We'll have to see how it goes. Um, I'm doing my best to be perfect on the first try. And speaking of which, there's the saving up in the top left. Or Dan's in Urgeberg! Uh, Psychotic Killer says, Hi all, does anyone know when the 1.4 is out for online big thanks? You mean for the multiplayer? I don't actually know the answer to that question. I know the 1.04 just came out like last week. That's how we got this much nicer lighting system in the game. Um, but my understanding is normally it takes one to two weeks for multiplayer, so probably soon. I don't really imagine that the um, that the lighting system dramatically affected the, um, the the multiplayer aspect very much. It's probably mostly on the graphics engine side of things. So the game world should be probably easily patched as far as like getting it up to multiplayer stuff. But otherwise, psychotic, I don't actually know. Uh, I haven't yet played multiplayer. I am a little dissuaded by them taking all the traffic out of the game. <laughs> I kind of need traffic to make things interesting. Events and stuff like that happening. So if I'm just driving a bunch of empty roads... Meh. Like, I don't know. I don't really think that would be engaging. I got away with that. Might as well have been putting my knee up on the steering wheel in real life. <laughs> that was a nice long straightaway for me to do that shenanigans. I'm very happy that this involves nice new highways. That I can still see sunlight at 22 at night. That's um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I don't see anybody get over for, so I'm staying in this lane. where I went so far to the left there. I hope you all are having a good time. 
this has been my first week with Euro Truck Simulator 2, and I think I'm doing okay. Anybody who's watching the YouTube playlist later be like, what? You're still in the first week? Yeah, this is, yeah. I think I purchased it last Friday on stream. I literally purchased it on stream. Oh, Thursday. And today is Thursday. So yes, I've been playing this game for a week, actually. Is that right? Is it a week or two weeks? No, I think it's a week. I think it was last Thursday. It was a Thursday. It was last Thursday or the Thursday before. I think it was last Thursday. It sounds right. But maybe it's not right? Oh, man. Check out that short-term memory. Object permanence is a real problem. Do, 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. I do miss driving my own truck. Uh, you guys on the right side or the left side? I do, write, I do really like this new uh, lighting system, so I can understand Psychotic why you'd want to have it in your multiplayer. I think pretty much, I think it's, it does make certain things a little bit more difficult to see at night, but it makes them look better, so I think that's a fair handoff, and saving in the top left corner. So if we have to back up for any reason, we're backing up to there. I'm trying to keep a little visual eye on it. Have you ever gotten into the, into the habit of playing a, oh, hello, what's this? Driver Ludwig, $727. Ludwig, you're not making me money, man. You have you have pathetic earnings. I'm very much considering firing you. You're not making me enough money. It's unacceptable. This is not a charity. This is this is a business. You're driving a nice truck. It's not like in American Truck Simulator when I keep getting everybody in my company the same generic crappy truck. Psychotic says, wait till you get to the steering wheel and all that. And a sim rig that makes it more realistic driving. Oh. I... You know what? That'd be nice to get to, Psychotic. I don't know if anybody is interested in watching me play this game for that long of a period of time where I can suddenly get, like, Twitch payouts that make me that much. But, um... I don't have, uh, I, I've got a handful of subscribers right now, I've got, you know, a, a good number of followers, but um, this right now is kind of like the most people who are watching at once, if the Twitch indicator is correct, which I don't know if it is, because sometimes it's very, very wrong, but it tells me i got six viewers right now, I bet if I check the chat right now, I'll see 20 people, um, so I don't know which one of those things is actually correct. But um, I thank you for the optimism. Yes, I would absolutely love to play um, with a big steering wheel with the the force feedback that like fights you. Yeah, like that's good stuff. Um, you know, like you have an arcade. It's like that's the type I want. I don't want just like a plastic wheel. Might as well be using a Wiimote if I'm just going to be having like a regular plastic wheel. I want something that's nice. So you'd be putting a lot of money into it. I think the nicest one is like fifteen hundred dollars, and I'm like, that's literally like a third of the money that I make in a year and I already have to put that money towards rent and food so <laughs> and I don't make that money from Twitch to be clear I make money from um, helping my mom with her home business I haven't made any money for Twitch yet uh, Twitch doesn't pay out to you until you make at least a hundred dollars and uh, I've been doing this for nine months and I have not yet made $100. I think I'm about to. I think I'm about to get paid either this month or next month. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm, I'm glad that you're here hanging out. Other people are hanging out. Um, I don't know what better ways to encourage people to chat. I will say that I've got a couple of uh, cheat codes I put in my Nightbot for distracting text. That's part of the reason I like having the chat here is because... You know, you guys get entertained when I make mistakes, so if I'm looking over the chat and talking to you, then I'm more likely to make mistakes, and maybe that's interesting. Alright, hold on. 70? Alright, one second psychotic. I am in a curve.
Uh, it says Thrustmaster TX with that shifter. Oh my god, best money spent, man. I hear you. I hear you. Uh, uh, but again, I don't have money. Um, I very, very don't have money. Does that lane not end? If that lane doesn't end, I'm going to get over it. No, I think that lane turns into a turning lane. Um, I have I have very little in the range of spending money each month. <laughs> what was that lump? Did I hit something? Doesn't look like it. Okay. I mean, I enjoy just having the force feedback in the um, in the analog triggers uh, that let me know when I'm like. You know, when I'm, like, going off the road and getting rumble feedback and stuff like that, that's pretty good. But it's, uh, what I got budgeted right now. But would I like to do that? Yeah, sure. Um, my biggest concern at this point is running out of shit to talk about while I'm driving the game. I had this whole thing for the last two streams where, uh, I was talking about Assassin's Creed because somebody brought it up, so I was like, you know what, I can make that a topic. Let me talk about Assassin's Creed. I know a lot about Assassin's Creed, but uh, I don't know how well that would have gone over. I don't know if anybody cares, like, because otherwise I'm just going, ooh, this is pretty. Ooh, I have to be careful of this thing that's about to happen, and I don't know if that's the dialogue people are looking for, or me pointing out that the game just saved, or I guess it'd be the game just saved, but uh, me pointing at it on the screen here won't help you. I have to be like, it's up there, you know? It's a little past midnight with 164 kilometers left to go. Let's see. That's, uh, oh, 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 that's easy. That's about 100 miles, right? About 100 miles. We've got about 100 miles left. I have like three sets of rear view mirror on the left. I don't think I'm gonna, yeah, I won't have to sleep. And I should be good on gas. Though I do seem to keep driving off the right side of the road even though I don't visibly see that happening. But I feel it in my right index finger. I, if nothing else, I would definitely like one of those steering wheels so I can play something more like um, a dirt game with like all the proper um, all the proper uh, like gear shifts and pedals on the floor. That'd be so nice. Uh, so it says, little tip, if you don't know if or when you stop press F4 once to tick the two boxes, then press escape to put on your high beams. Uh oh. Um. Huh. Well, my high beams are actually on right now. Um, I actually have my high beams on uh, left D-pad. And my regular lights on my right D-pad. So getting to my D-pads is pretty easy. I have optimized the controls. I'm a, I'm a controller player when it comes to most games. And especially when it comes to racing games. And we seem to have reached the point where uh, racing games can run at a... At us, our driving games can uh, hit, hit a steady frame rate on the computer, which honestly, the last time I was trying to do it was not the case at all. So um, I'm just glad that there's such good support for, in this case, the Series X control or Series controller. Um, so I'm I'm doing the analog. I got I tweaked all the settings. I got all that stuff. It make wait hold on wait it makes them brighter. I, don't, I think I can do that without stopping. Adjust lights? But I can increase the dashboard backlight? Oh yeah, baby. I didn't even realize that was an option. Front auxiliary... Roof auxiliary, what are those? How 
How do I make them brighter? Oh man, that LED brightness though, that, that, that made a huge difference. Well, that's what I'm saying. I already had the high beams on. This is with the high beams on right now. Bottom? What? Okay, I'll do it again. Would you say F4? Mine are all on the numpad now. So if I go to adjust lights. What do you mean bottom? I, I don't I don't follow exactly what you mean, but you mean over on the um Hold on wait. You mean on the trip advisor? Front and roof boxes. Hold on. Let me try and do it from out here. I already forgot what button to press. Four. Uh Front and root. Were those not on automatically? I don't. I don't notice any difference. I don't really notice any difference. I could turn on the beacon light on the top. I do have one of those. I think that's the yellow thing. I was looking for how to maybe turn that on, but, uh... I don't know if I'm picking up what you're putting down. focusing. Uh, let's see here. Like, this This is me with my high beams off. Like, this is the new lighting system. This is them when they're on. And then exit right. Keep left and then exit right. Now you put on the spotlights on the truck, you'll see them blow the whole street up. Spotlights? Oh, oh, you mean if I purchase my own truck? Like, where are the spotlights? I've, um... Hold on, did I just miss my turn? Did I just miss my turn? Shit! There you go, that's entertaining, right? I missed my turn. Oh my god, that's a long way to turn around. I want to keep the mistake, but also I want to undo it. <laughs> Alright, I hate doing it, but like... Let me check my time. Ah, uh, that's a long, that's a long, that's a long waste of time. That's a long waste of time. I apologize profusely. I hate, I hate reloading from save, but I, I misunderstood Sky's directions while we were talking. I'm sorry. I would not be reloading the save if I was not going for this achievement. As achievement, whoa, ah. I hate that it starts me in neutral on the highway. Oh my god, it auto saved me here. Uh, well, that means I just go two back, right? <laughs> Crap. Eight minutes of difference? Eight minutes of difference? Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Alright, you know what? It doesn't matter. I can still get there on time. What I lost was my forward momentum, primarily. That sucks. If I can see a way to cross cross lanes, I will, but Europe is filled with um, guardrails. Damn. That sucks a big one. I will absolutely drive across the median if given the opportunity. Hey, driver Sophia got me some money. 
This is a long, this is a long trip out of the middle of nowhere now. But I'm still expected to get there on time. So we're just going to have to, s oh no, is that going to change my mileage total? It is. It's going to screw up my kilometers per experience point, isn't it? Shit. What I need to do is turn around and drive the wrong way. Can I go through there? Nope. Can't go through there. <laughs> I'm like an American driving home in the middle of the night. I, I exa I'm exactly that, actually. I was very much considering turning around and going up that off-ramp, but I've decided against it. Oh, God. I wonder if I have the gas to do this. Oh, hold on. I'm speeding. What was I saying before I screwed up really badly? Oh man. <laughs> I'm so distracted by how bad of a screw up that was. I would have lost eight minutes to be back up the road, though. That's a long travel time. Uh, Psychog says, right when you go fix the truck, put the spotlights on and the visor with the lights on, and that helps you at night. But then boxes ticked. But when you upgrade the truck, you need to tick them boxes every time. Mate, sorry for putting you in the game. Putting you in the game, my bad, dude. Uh, it's okay. It was it was my fault for losing a track of what I was doing. That's that's why I joke about the chat distracting me. I mean, I just I allowed myself distraction, and um, and I don't want I don't want to. Di what the hell? This seems dangerous. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know this tunnel setup. Um, where's that lane going? Uh, the road is listed as going the same. Whoop! Bump. There's a sidewalk in here. What's going on exactly? I've been everywhere in the in in the game yet, and this is a gray road. So psychotic. Basically, think of it as a as a positive. I have to cover. I have to turn all of the gray untraveled road into orange traveled road, um, to get 100% map completion. So you've merely helped me get to that map completion. Is that the same? car that left me a second ago? Did that road not actually go anywhere? This is telling me to get over to the right, so I'm going to get over to the right, because it doesn't look like anybody's there right now. And again, um, my next rest stop, okay, apparently I've gotten some damage. Alright, I'm about to cloverleaf the hell out of this next intersection, so I'm going to put this on the close view. I like how I've got, I'm going to have to travel all the way back in a second, so, oh well. These things happen. Hey, at least you're here to talk, you know? But, uh, yeah, so this isn't my truck, because I'm doing quick jobs, um, while trying to go for this achievement. Um, but I will keep that in mind for the next, uh, truck I purchase. I've been wondering about those lights not turning on when I purchased them. I was trying to figure out why they weren't... Oh, good, Lud Ludwig got a little bit more money. Good for him. Um, I've been trying to figure out how to get those lights to turn on. I didn't realize there was an extra button. And I rebound all of my, um... I rebound all of my F keys to my number pad so that I can access them uh, a much easier because I have an Apple I have an Apple keyboard and Windows doesn't always properly acknowledge my F1 through F19 keys. Alright, we are having a whole situation. Looks like the sun is coming up. Whoops, almost hit that. 
Apparently I'm going a little fast going down this ramp. Right. We're gonna keep right. We're gonna go up the next clover leaf. We're gonna go back the way we came. Almost hit that. Trying to keep track of my speed and also stay in the lane at the same time. Get these RPMs back up here. Whoa, ah. See, like that right there. I almost did it again. I, I almost just started going off into the wrong cloverleaf area. See, that's on me. That's not on you. This view. Apparently, Hamburg is over there on the right, and I haven't been there yet. So, this is the HH Amerstin. I don't know that one. Nice view. Keep right and then turn right. Turn right. Sounds like there's a train on my left somewhere. I don't think it's actually possible to screw. Uh, the big, the big concern is that I've. I. I don't know if the, um, here, let's see, it doesn't tell me. I don't know if the game is counting my total kilometers traveled when I'm on a delivery towards the, uh, achievement, or if it's actually counting the actual deliveries, um, hey, whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing right now? You could have gotten me a fine. What the hell, man? Getting over to the right when somebody needs to get over to the left? What are you doing? What was I... Oh, oh, before I was so rudely interrupted. Um, so I don't know if the, if the game is actually counting my on-track kilometers as far as destination amount. Or if it's counting... Um, or if it's counting it by the mission itself for the purposes of tracking the achievement. It's doing it um, distance-wise for the achievement based on the vehicle, then I may be a little worse off than if I hadn't missed that turn. If it's doing it based on the actual delivery expectation of how many kilometers that'll be, then I'm at least as bad off as I was. We're going to see what the payout looks like at the end of this thing. That is some bright sunlight in front of me. Is there a sun visor in this truck? Not really. I can see that my turn circle has been on for a while, though. Just like an old person. Uh, hold on. There's something wrong with my mini-map? Okay, it had the it had the old travel thing on there, and it was throwing me off. So keep right, Sky. Keep right, and then turn right. Keep right, then turn right. Got it. Turn right. Is there a meterage difference here? Or we just keep going speed. We keep going speed. Okay.
can't I can't wait to not be going for this achievement. This is a very this is a very close achievement that is a uh, taking a little bit of fun out of the experience but part of the fun of the experience is getting the achievement so take it or leave it like it's it's a little little of this little of that we'll see how the uh, mileage marks out like I said I think maybe I'll stop trying for the achievement when I um if I get to like um, 5,000 kilometers and uh, if I'm pretty if I'm just consistently behind if I'm constantly bringing the average up, that's going to be that's going to be fine. That's what I'm looking for. I should be about to enter a um a city I've never been to before. This is all gray roads. So that'll put me Okay, hold on. Hi. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. I suspect that the I suspect that the speed limit's about to decrease. That wasn't exactly how I meant for that to happen, but... A little rude on my part. So there's a warning, like, 25 feet from the intersection that there's an intersection with a light. That's not, that's not a good warning sign. You need to put that further away. Let's get that zoomed in mini-map so we can see exactly where we need to turn. Looks like it's going to be 50 through here. Right. And then turn right. Kiel discovered. That's another one off the list. I didn't see the achievement come up. Uh, someone added me to their friends list. Was not expecting that. But I mean, it is, it is like right here above my head. Do, 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 do. Getting ready to turn left. Turn left. I don't know why that vehicle came to a stop. I have a yield. Green light is good. Kind of a narrow driveway, but not as narrow as some of the ones I've been in. Alright. Once again, we are going for the complex park, which I think is all the parking I've done thus far in this playthrough. I don't even have the gimme achievement for letting the game auto park for you once. I don't even I don't even have that on my record yet. Is there enough space back there to turn around? Yes, looks like there is. Cool. Do, 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 do. Sire says, add you on Steam so you can know when I'm online and I'll stream and you can ask anything to help on game. Oh, okay. So that was you I saw. Alright. This is, uh... This is mostly about getting me to turn around right now. This is not about necessarily getting me in this parking space. But that's fine. Alright, we're going to take that as progress. We're going to purposely pull forward and then just go straight back. Whoops. Okay. I forget, I think there was a crate or something right here in front of me where my camera is.
Okay. Backing up. That's my Steam account name, and if you click my name in this chat, that's my streaming name. Understood. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I... Did I... I don't think I said anything about you following me. I don't, I don't think I heard it. I wonder if my alerts are not making noise to me again. That happens sometimes. But uh, thank you very much for the follow. I will definitely see about stopping it on your stream sometime. Nice. Alright, let's see what that... What? Guys! I apparently have been doing well enough. I got the min-maxer achievement. Mini-maxer achievement. That, that was... All the missions I haven't been counting up to this point. I, it just popped! Cool, I can stop doing that. Gain 20,000 experience for several consecutive jobs with a total distance below 10,000 kilometers. I freaking did it. Oh, I am very new. I've been playing American Truck Simulator since last month. No, I'm sorry, month before last. Now it's April. Um, and I just started playing ETS like a week ago. So that was... Wow. Yeah, I got 14,000 experience points payout for this less than 700 kilometer trip. So, alright. So, one achievement knocked off. We can start focusing on the other ones. Uh, probably go back to Special Cargo, I guess. For everybody who is watching later on YouTube, I thank you for watching. Uh, this has been Euro Truck Simulator 2, presented by Improvision Entertainment. My name is Hunterman, and I will see you in the future. At some point in that outro, I forgot where I was pointing for things. Euro Truck Simulator 2, my name is Hunterman, which is what this will say in a second when it's not pronouns anymore, and all that good stuff. In any event, later.